Passion is everything. I mean, you know, I, I would not be able to live whether my professional or personal life without any passion. I believe in people. I believe that uh, alone I cannot do anything. I believe in the, you know, in a team. I feel that a, a manager, a good manager, is someone who uh, is there when there is a problem and can, you know, solve the problem. Uh, because this is his job. This is when he's really needed, not only to shine when everything's fine. I quite often use uh, CNBC as a channel to, to specifically to watch all the news uh, side. And uh, I think that the program, you know, in general, uh, is quite well wrapped up and very easy to, to follow. What really excites me is when I see the results. And when I see the bottom line, and I see that we've been successful in doing and providing the sales and the profit, uh, then I'm a happy man. My challenge has always been to try to improve in whatever ways, not to, to satisfy myself uh, with, uh, with what we're doing. And that we should aim for high standards. The key, you know, for my well-being is really to, to wake up and to go to work enjoying what I'm doing, which is exactly what's happening. Decision making is based on experience. It's a process that is almost automatic. Uh, you know, in your mind. I quite often use uh, CNBC as a channel to, to specifically to watch all the news uh, side. It's very easy and, and quick and I know that uh, your informations are quite reliable. I'm not looking forward to, uh, uh, you know, something bigger, something, uh, you know, I'm happy with what I'm doing and that's maybe the key of my success is that I'm not always looking elsewhere or, you know, at bigger things. I'm happy with what I'm doing. We are innovators. We are not uh, followers of trends. Uh, we rather uh, set up the trends ourselves. We are trying to uh, create some products which are more accessible. You have to be careful because uh, uh, it's not your name. You work for the name. Uh, you try to uh, make it even better, to make it uh, more, more known. The luxury market is uh, getting bigger in the sense that it's uh, normally uh, getting more democratic. I quite often use uh, CNBC as a channel specifically to watch all the news uh, side and I think that the program you know, in general uh, is quite well wrapped up and very easy to, to follow. I feel very good about the future, I must say, and about the future of luxury. As long as you, uh, uh, you remain with a certain level of exclusivity and that you, uh, you don't do things you shouldn't be doing. I think it's incredibly healthy to have tension between uh, creativity and the commercial world. My decision making is almost universally um, based on detail. Um, I am not uh, somebody who can go, I, I just like that, I'm just going to do that. Um, I have to have the numbers. Somebody said to me the other day, if you run an organisation that's an enabling organisation, you have to be prepared to be disappointed on occasions. And I think that's true. You know, you, you've got to allow people room to make the odd mistake and be prepared as a CEO that that's going to happen. What CNBC provides for me is a very rapid view of what's going on in Europe and globally, but particularly in Europe, um, which just gives me the, the key ingredients and then I can get on with my day.